my new favorite toy in the garage. Click on the link below and pick one up. Yes, well, there does have a 45 and a 55 model. Hopefully you would understand that the higher the number, the higher output amperage, thus thicker material you can do. This is the 65 DS and it says it can do up to a 5 8 inch clean cut and an inch thick uh, rough cut. Now, I don't even have an inch thick material to test it out, nor do I ever even weld that thick or need that thick of material. I do have a couple pieces of half inch that we'll test out. Does come with an air water separator, which is always nice, especially those high humidity areas. It does say that it comes with an internal regulator as well that is preset. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know if that actually is just preset and it's a set pressure from, you know, here on out, or if it actually self-regulates, which I highly doubt it does that. So either way, I'm gonna set the pressure on the back just to what I think, you know, should be with the thickness materials I'm doing and the amperages. Only one dense connection for the ground clamp and then all of the other connections for the plasma torch are all one way. So you can't really screw it up. You got the one for the air, one for the pilot arc, and one for your trigger. So, like I said, three connections, but can't really screw it up. Super nice extra long leads. This is about a 12 foot plasma torch. Dual voltage, always super nice to have that ability, you know, in those instances where you've only got 110 power, or if you got 220 in your garage, you can do both. You can do up to 45 um, amps with it just on 110, so that would probably get you easily up to quarter or three eighths inch. Might be plenty just with the 110 house power. Some of the other features it has is a two touch and a four touch. I'm just always used to two touch and so I keep it on that. This one is the, what they call an air check and really all it does is just open up the solenoid and lets air pass through it. There are four settings over here. The first one is IT and that is the pilot, pilot arc time. It goes from one to 20 seconds. Second up is the um, it's LS and that is the arc current. You can go between 12 and 25 amps. Um, it always defaults to I, which is your plasma cutting current. Um, that obviously goes from 10 to 45 on 110 volt. And then for the 240 volt or 220 volt, it goes from 10 up to your max 65 amps. And lastly is S, that's your post flow for how long the air will be going through the nozzle after you stop the arc. And you can go from um, five to 20 seconds on the post flow. One downside is there's not suggested settings for your amperage or your PSI. So you're really just kind of doing some guess and check work here. I started out with eight inch flat bar and I had a whole bunch of cuts because I was making some welding coupons. Uh, the settings were at 35 amps and about 40 PSI. Next, I bumped it up to quarter inch and the settings were 45 amps and about 50 PSI. And last was some thick half inch material, and that was at 55 amps and about 65 PSI.
There you have it, the 65DS. So just a couple things before I end. Um, it does come with a one year warranty and it does not come with any extra consumables. So kind of a bummer, um, which is actually kind of interesting. All of their others, the 45 and 55 do. Um, so I'm not sure why they didn't throw any in this one. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.